donns her guise as that girl, best dressed crime fightress in America. While Batgirl hurries to her fateful appointment. One ingredient missing in this tube. Batgirl. Look again, Catwoman. Batgirl, how did you find out about this? I specifically asked Commissioner Gordon not to involve you. We can fight our own battles. Look, Catwoman's going into the model's dressing room. What are we going to do? We can't step into that most hallowed and forbidden no man's land without closing our eyes. If we close our eyes, we can't see anything. A sound observation, Robin. You can't go in there, but I can. And with my eyes wide open. Come out, come out, wherever you are, Catwoman. Right here. <laughs> We can't miss, boys. This will let a lady expire. It's foolproof, I tell you. Perfectly foolproof. And you, Catwoman, are an even bigger fool than I thought you were. We who enforce the law would glad... Batman won't be here. He'll be at the Belgravian Embassy thwarting your nefarious scheme. Angora, gag her. Crime fighters should be seen and not heard. You'd better... Angora... Get her ready for the grand opening. Yes, my dear. You will make a perfect pinafore. The type of garment no one will recognize you in or as. <laughs> if you should pardon a final cutting remark. Twenty minutes of three, Batgirl. The next sound you hear will be an automatic pattern cutter with teeth of steel. It will take just twenty minutes to do the work cut out for it, to cut you into a perfect pinafore. <laughs> <laughs> Think nothing of it, sweetheart. As a matter of fact, it was selfish of me. Selfish? Yes. I'm the janitor here. If that machine had sliced you to bits, I'd have to clean up the mess. You look very familiar to me. Me? Oh, no. No, I'm the oldest living hippie in this country. Of course, you may have heard about my being the first Boy Scout dropout at the turn of the century. Mm. Love. See you around. <laughs> Perfect pinafore, Catwoman. is a bad habit, Catwoman. Let's go. Warden Crichton awaits. You know what this is, Batman? The Royal Order of the Belgravian Garter. Five decorations, one for each of us. For finding Her Majesty's Golden Fleece and returning it to her. And for finding Her Majesty. Locked up in a closet off that throne room she was. And it's a lucky thing that we discovered her, too. There are enough international crises running around without us starting one with Belgravia. Yes, Polly? I thought you should turn on your television, said Commissioner. Our roving live TV unit has picked up something shocking happening right now in Gotham City. Thank you, Bonnie. Holy homecoming, Egghead and Olga. Queen of the best Barovian Cossacks. No doubt back to bother Badger and Bowel to Gotham City once more. Egghead, Olga, and her Bessarovian Cossacks are back. 
with another assortment of devilish plots, all happening here in our next episode.